have many tools, analytical tools at their disposal. And when we receive a project, the first thing that we do is examine these, these works with our eyes. And, you know, at first, you know, you're just looking at it. And then you get a little closer with the microscope. And when I had looked at these works in the microscope, you know, there was a lot of losses. There was a lot of damage to the surface. So I could actually see below the visible surface. And I could see through these cracks that there was something curious going on underneath. So what I had done was collect numerous portraits of the King and Queen in Spain and just side by side, you know, looking at them, seeing what lined up. And in fact, Goya's prototype was copied numerous times and spread throughout, you know, Spain and, and their territories. And so the prototype, it actually matched up perfectly to the works that we have underneath. So is it by Goya? No, but it's certainly based on the prototypes of these portraits by Goya. So I used a technique, an in-painting technique called Tritagio, which is basically taking this tiny paintbrush and just line by line going, going, going. Um, but in making my reconstruction, I actually wanted to kind of follow the original paint palette. So it's a red ground painting, and then he works these, these paints on top of that. So I actually, from these white losses, I built the red on top of that, and then built up to the paint layer above that, and until I actually matched what was there and what you can see. So if you have your nose on the surface, you can actually see my, my handiwork, but, um, but from far away, it, it just disappears, and you just see the paintings themselves.